Hi there, I'm Ben Sunderland, sales engineer in Asia Pacific, and I'm going to give you a demonstration of the Jive integration to SharePoint Online and Office 365. So let's start off with our Jive group and also a SharePoint site. The SharePoint site's got a document library inside with some Word documents and a subfolder with some Excel reports inside. And we want to bring those in and integrate with the, with the Jive group. So let's go ahead and um, switch over to the Jive site and create our Jive group. So we'll go ahead and give the group a name and fill in some basic metadata for the group. And here we'll select the file storage to be the Office 365 SharePoint Online add-on. And here you can see the configuration for the connection. So in this case, we're going to connect to an existing site and select the name of the site. So this is connecting back to SharePoint. And you can select the document library from within that site, which we've done there. And now we're going to create the group in Jive. So as soon as we create that group, you'll notice it will automatically synchronize all of the existing documents in that existing uh, document library. You can see it's brought them all in as a flat level, so Jive doesn't recognize the folders, it flattens all of the documents into a single view. Switching back to SharePoint, you can see the documents there. The SharePoint library is synchronized to this guy's local de desktop using the OneDrive for Business connector. And you can see he's got a view from Windows Explorer of the same document library. Um, and in this case, let's say he's, he's gone offline, uh, maybe he's traveling, doesn't have internet, he's going to create a, a new document. In this case, it's an annual leave procedure document. So he's going to, let's say he's produced that document. He's adding it into his Windows Explorer. And then when he's next online, that will synchronize back up to the SharePoint repository. So let's say he goes online. The OneDrive for business will synchronize that back up to the SharePoint repository. Let's go and see that. So refresh the SharePoint site. Within the document library, you'll see that documents popped up as annual leave document there, version one. And if we refresh the Jive content view for the Jive group that we've created, you'll also see the same document. So that's synchronized back into Jive as well. Right, let's say we want to make some changes to the annual leave policy. We can edit that document. So we start that off in Jive. You'll see the preview, which is a Word Online preview um, window right within the Jive interface. You can see it's version one there. To edit that document, we'll go ahead and click that link. That opens the Word Online interface. As you can see on the right, you see the whole the Jive cartridge with all of the Jive uh, metadata and properties for that document. Let's go ahead and, and add a comment to that document. So this is Jive comments right from Word Online. Now we're going to make some changes to the, the annual leave document. We're in Word Online, so let's make some changes there. Just call it version 2. You'll notice down the bottom, Word Online saves that automatically as soon as we finish typing. And if we switch back to the site in SharePoint, you'll see that document uh, is already updated to version 2. So that's done that instantly. Let's switch back over to the SharePoint group. Uh, we'll need to give that a uh, refresh. This is version one, let's refresh that. You'll see immediately it's updated to version two. And as the previewer renders, you should also see the change. There it is, version two, the change that I made in Word uh, Online has come straight forward, as well as the comment that we made from Word Online as well. So everything's all in sync. The document's stored in, in SharePoint, but we're we're editing it from the Jive interface. Switching back to the OneDrive for Business um, sync agent, we can now see that uh, that same document that he added before. And if he just clicks on the refresh button, you'll see the, the version 2 there. So that's, that's synchronized using the OneDrive for Business plugin as well. Okay, let's now we're going to create a document. So this guy's been to a client site and he's got some notes. So he's quickly made some notes and he wants to save that directly. So in this case, he's using the Jive um, Word integration. So this plugs straight into Word and he's connected to the, to the Jive 
SP Online demo group that we created before. So he's filled in some metadata for the document and he's synchronized that straight up to the Jive, um, the Jive group there. And you can see as soon as he does that, you get all of the Jive metadata and attributes, impact metrics, comments, versions, and so on. So here we're going to create a comment and at mention Elisa Steele, who will get a, an update on her phone to read that the update from the client visit. Okay, we can close that out. So we've now saved that directly to the Jive group from Word. So if we switch over to the group in Jive and give that a refresh, there it is, there's the client update Word document that we just created from the desktop version of Word. You'll note that the preview is, is now using the Office 365 preview because the document has been saved directly to the SharePoint site. So the source of truth for that document is, is in SharePoint as well. So a quick refresh, and there's the client update document that we saved via Word into Jive. And to close the loop, the OneDrive for Business, give it a refresh, and there's the client update document that's come down. Thanks a lot.